ha med en t-shirt där. Ja, men vi får någon tröja med än den. Du kan inte bara ha en tröja. Är det skit kanske? We are now packing to leave the country. But before I go into that, there have been a lot of people asking about our house renovations and just what's going on in that department. We are waiting for an excavator. Uh, and that means that after almost five months, we are finally getting back to renovating the house. Over here used to be the pigsty. We had a bathroom that was here and one that was here, like an outdoor toilet. They are also gone. Instead, we have a tiny little outside um, bathroom right now, right here. This is This is The renovations began last year, and naively we thought we might be done before winter. We weren't, and we're still not done. Very far from done. We have made a lot of necessary decisions though, done a lot of planning and even some actual work. Final touches on the roof, we got the new sewer system in place. I must say I have no idea how they're gonna get it down into the big hole. Vad är det Leon? Vad är det för någonting? Är det ris? Ja. Today,把这两个罐子一起做个粉片线 
开的啊！坐在这，你这你开的不会。哎，还没得来。No, we can't go then. Now we have this huge grey concrete piece covering half the garden. And you may wonder what the purpose of this concrete is, but hopefully you will understand when it's all finished. It's just that it won't be finished for quite some time. Uh, now we're going to go to the house. We've had so many projects on our minds this past half a year. Projects, changes to come, planning, figuring things out, problem solving. I feel like we've done so much, worked really hard, but with barely any actual results yet. Our stay in Shanghai was fast and busy, just like the city itself. We're outside Fudan, but we can't get in because we didn't bring our passports and rules have changed. Now I'm going to a restaurant we to eat. to eat. Before we knew it, we had left the Shanghai nostalgia and were about to board a plane in Beijing. After a very short stop in Beijing, um, an afternoon, so we are now heading out. Yeah, this is my first time in Poland. <laughs> We are in Sweden now to catch up with family, get tons of paperwork done and hopefully get a little bit of a break before our big project begins. Strawberries are very expensive on Midsummer's Eve. Really had to pick some more flowers. So it's a lot further than I thought. And I thought it's time to share what this big project of ours is. It's been alive in our minds since late 2022 um, and now it feels a little bit scary to say it out loud. 
feel a little bit vulnerable in case we fail miserably at it, but we're going on a road trip. Now you may think, why is that so scary? Why is our road trip so scary? But we'll be going, the whole family will be gone for probably at least six months. We'll be going to places we've never been before and uh, we'll have a lot of projects that we want to accomplish during the trip. So we will be driving Qinghai, Gansu, Shanxi, Chongqing, Sichuan and Yunnan six provinces. We'll be doing quite a lot of camping, which is going to be fun. We haven't done that before. And then we're just going to visit people and places and projects that we find interesting. Um, we will be sharing on social media, just like we do now, videos and photos. And then what is really exciting for me is that we're also making a mini documentary series that will be published next year. It will be focusing on traditional handicraft and traditional knowledge in these areas that we visit. And when the journey is over, we are also making a photo book with photographs from the journey and from the people and projects that we come across. So there will be something physical as well. So that is our project. Our soon-to-be car will be arriving in late July and uh, hopefully Yohong has his driver's license by then. And then we expect to set off about a month later in August and uh, we think we will be back around Chinese New Year 2024. <laughs> So now you know what's going on and we'll be sharing preparations for the trip as well and one thing is actually a live stream series or a podcast something like that will come up soon on my channel where I'll be talking to some other travelers in China. And if you know of a project, maybe you know a person, an artisan or an artist of some sort, maybe you know of a hotel or a bed and breakfast that we should go to a beautiful little scenic spot. If you have any tips for us, please let us know. Uh, we are also interested in just visiting common people. Um, maybe if we can go into their home and see what their daily life is like. We're very curious about everything. We want to do document as much as possible when we are on the road, so please let us know. And again, the areas are Qinghai, Gansu, Shanxi, Chongqing, Sichuan and Yunnan. Um, and we only have a few stops decided, so we are very open, very flexible. So yeah, just leave a comment and let us know. But now I'm gonna enjoy Sweden a little bit more. Oh, 